good morning. It is Wednesday morning at about 10.15. Um, I'm heading off to my nail appointment. I accidentally broke a nail in Canada. Um, it's actually a really funny story. So it was on Saturday night and Dan, we had been drinking a little bit because it was his birthday night. Like not his birthday night, but like the night before he turned 30, like at midnight he turned 30. And we just like went out and had some drinks and stuff in Canada. Don't worry, neither of us was driving. Um, but we, so we had some drinks and he fell asleep eventually. And, and so he fell asleep eventually, right? And I'm like still up and I'm taking my makeup off. And I usually do like my nighttime routine in bed. I don't know why. It's just like, it's something I do. It's like very relaxing to me. It's like my me time. So I'll like sit in bed in my pajamas and take my makeup off. Um, I'll start with like my makeup wipes and then I'll do my micellar water. I'll do my eye makeup remover and then I'll go like rinse my face, come back and do all my serums and whatever else I do. Um, so <laughs> I was like in the process. Oh, and also since I have extensions, I always, like when I have my extensions, I do an added step into my nighttime, nighttime routine. And it's like I um, section my hair little by little and just like brush it out and put some hair oil in the hair because I always braid it before I go to bed or at least I try to if I'm not. Um, that night I didn't. I didn't braid it because I was just exhausted. But um, yeah. I still tried to section it and put some hair oil in it. So I had just sectioned my hair and did the oil thing. And I was like, I put my hair up in a messy bun because I was just wasn't dealing. And it did look crazy. Like I had like a bunch of like little spikes coming up. I still had my makeup on and everything, okay? And then, so I go to take my makeup wipes out and you know how they like crinkle and stuff and I went to rip them open, trying to be as quiet as possible. And it scared Dan like the noise scared him so badly that um he literally he literally like turned around jolted out of bed and was like ah and like flailed his arms and when he flailed his arms my finger kind of like I kind of went like whoa like what's going on and my finger got stuck and my nail ripped off <laughs> but it was a really funny story we st I was hysterically laughing he was hysterically laughing and then he passed back out <laughs> But it was a funny story. Anyways, I need to get my nails done. Um, and then I have to go home, put some makeup on, film some videos for you guys. And yeah, I need to clean my house as well. Also, guys, um, this video probably won't go up until Monday because I'm planning a surprise dinner for Dan because um, of his 30th birthday. So I've been planning this now for over a month and it's been like a whole literal like shit show because trying to get all his friends together and his brother, like everybody together at once has been so hard because everybody has such busy schedules. So I have now moved the date like three times, but it's staying on the 15th. Okay, so, and actually, so his brother ends up getting engaged a couple of weeks ago after I already had planned this party like a couple weeks ago. And um, his brother's fiance's parents th is, are throwing them an engagement party on the same day. Like just they threw it together really quickly as like a surprise for them and it ends up being on the same day that the party was. So I was gonna try to move the date again, but I'm the next weekend I'm going to Jamaica. And so there was literally like no other weekend I could do it. I was trying to do it the first and the first just didn't work out. Um, and then I can't do it the 22nd because the next day I'm going to Jamaica, basically. So February 15th it was. So basically we're gonna end up going to his brother's engagement party. And then I made up a lie and told him that I had to go meet my mom and go with her to an appointment at four. So I'm leaving the engagement party at four to come back and set up 
the dinner, like set up at the restaurant, like put the decorations up and stuff. And then I'm gonna go back to my house and he's gonna come over and we're gonna leave together. And he thinks we're going to uh, dinner with Michelle and Mark, which is my cousin and my cousin's boyfriend. Um, and it's gonna be all of his friends. So it's gonna be really cool. I've only met two of his friends, but I obviously know that he's ha he has <laughs> more friends than that. So I basically asked like one of his friends, girlfriends if like the one that I met I asked her who else she had numbers for and um I basically just like reached out and was like hey <coughs> I put them all in like a group chat and was just like hey this is Dan's girlfriend Gabriella it's really nice to meet you I'm planning a surprise dinner for him I really think he would love you guys to be there da -da 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 -da. Um, and so that's how that went so I've literally like put this together <laughs> or at least tried to it's kind of been like I said it's kind of been a little bit of a shit show because everybody's adults and some of his friends have like wives and children and like like families so it's like kind of hard to get everybody together so um unfortunately his brother and his brother's fiance won't be there because they're at their engagement party but I just I couldn't move it it just wasn't working so I'm excited um I ordered some decorations off of Amazon I ordered like a big 3-0. I'll show you guys when they come in. They're supposed to be here tomorrow. A big 3-0 gold balloon, some black and gold balloons, um, a happy birthday banner. I also ordered little like table decor, like because I think it's a table of 16. So it's gonna be a pretty big table. So I ordered a couple of little like things that you stick in mason jars. I ordered some filler. It's gonna be cute. But yeah, okay, anyways, I've been talking now for eight minutes. <laughs> Let me let you guys go. I'm about to be at the hair uh, nail salon. Okay, so I just left the nail salon. I ended up getting a little design, which I'm obsessed with. It is so cute. I'm obsessed. It's so cute. Okay, anyways, I am just at Home Goods. My mom called me and was like, Do you want to meet me at Home Goods? And she's standing right over there, so I'm going to rush and go meet her. Okay, so I'm looking for stuff to fill the basket for. Um, Dan's brother's engagement party. So I found this. This little this is us sign and then this little thing of flowers. And I'm hoping to find some Mr. and Mrs. or bride and groom stuff, hopefully. Hello, PP. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a very long time. Yes, it has. Um, it is ooh, Thursday. Thursday morning. My entire week is messed up. It's Thursday morning at 10.52. I just left the nail salon because last night I literally my brother's door was locked, but he said it was unlocked, so I went to grab the door handle, but I grabbed it with too much force and pulled this nail off completely. So, just had to get that fixed really quick. This entire week has just been kind of, like, messed up because I just have, like, I don't know. I just, I've had so much going on outside of, like, being able to film, so... Um, my uncle, I've had to bring him to New York twice, New York and back twice already. And I'm going again today because he has appointments and stuff and no one else can bring him. So, um, my uncle Chris. So, doing that again in about an hour. But by the time I get back, it's like 2 o'clock, if not a little later, because his appointment takes a certain amount of time and then it's an hour there and an hour back. Um, so, by that time, it's already like two o'clock and I have the teen center at four so I'm hoping that I'll be able to get a video filmed in between there um because I want to have something up for you guys for tomorrow like this week has just been so freaking hectic and busy you guys haven't even seen a lot of it it's just I've done like a lot of planning for Dan's um birthday dinner and like a lot of behind the scenes stuff for YouTube like with emails and working with companies and stuff like that contracts and a lot like there's a lot of stuff that you guys don't see that goes behind the scenes as far as like having this as a career on top of just it being something that I absolutely love to do um, so it is a little it's a little it's not hard but there's like I don't know I just feel like there's a lot of pressure because like I said you guys don't see a lot of the stuff that has to happen behind the scenes um, in order for everything to run smoothly and work with companies and do all that kind of stuff. So, uh, this week was kind of focused on that. Um, that being said, I still want to be able to squeeze a video in for you guys so that you have something to watch tomorrow. 
Um, now, you guys let me know because I feel like I've been doing a lot of longer videos. Um, like I've been putting out like 30 minutes. Like this vlog I think was about 30 minutes that I put out on Monday. Um, the get ready with me's have been about 35 minutes, 34 minutes, somewhere around there. So it actually equates to me putting out almost three videos. But you guys let me know, like do you wanna see shorter videos? Do you like the longer videos? Like what do you guys like? Let me know. Cause I don't know. I mean, personally, like when I watch YouTube, I love longer videos cause it's almost just like you're watching a TV show and it just like the more content, the better. So like, I love watching longer videos, but I know some people don't like watching longer videos. Some people just want it like short and sweet and moving on with their day. So let me know what you guys prefer. Um, in the comments, I always read the comments. I don't always respond to comments because to be honest with you, sometimes it's just draining. Like, the negative comments and stuff like that are just draining. This guy's a dick. And, um, I don't know. It just, the negative, like I said, the negative comments kind of ruin it for the good comments because when I see a negative comment, it just makes me not even want to check the comment section anymore and respond. It's just, I don't know. It's kind of like protecting yourself in a way. Like, I'd rather protect my mental health than continue to read stuff about myself that is just not true, you know what I mean? And it's just people throwing their opinions on my life. And it's like, yes, <clears throat> as somebody who does YouTube and has people who watch me, um, of course I am opening up my life to judgment and to opinions, but I'm also a person and like, just because my life is out there doesn't mean you guys get to just say whatever you want to me because like, I don't know. I just can't imagine, I personally cannot imagine ever leaving nasty comments on anybody's anything. Um, but again, that's probably just me, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, that was a long enough rant about that. I don't even know if that made sense. Sometimes when I get like actually emotional and like something bothers me, I tend to just like, I think it's like an anxiety coping mechanism. I don't know. I just don't really make sense because it's just so much of so many thoughts going on in my head at one time. I also want to make like a body positive video soon, like a empowerment video because I just I haven't put one out in a while and <clears throat> I've had this topic come up quite a few times in my personal life, whether it's like explaining what I do and why I do it or um, just relating it back to some things like at the teen center, which um, I'll probably talk about in that video, but yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop blabbering. Oh my gosh, my camera shifted this whole time. I didn't even know, Jesus H. Okay. Anyways, I have to pick my uncle up in about 45 minutes, so I'm gonna run home really quick, throw my laundry in the washing machine. Hopefully have enough time to go upstairs and throw some makeup on, go to Starbucks, and then go pick him up. Um, I also have to put this engagement basket together. I don't even know if I ended up showing you guys everything that I bought. I don't think I did. I'll, I'll have to show you um, when I get home later, because tomorrow I'm in the office all day. And it's Valentine's Day, so yeah. All right, you guys, what a freaking day. I have not been home yet. It's 4.30. I literally have been running around like a crazy person since 9.45. I showed you how I broke this nail earlier. And then when I was at the dentist's office with my uncle, my thumbnail broke. So I just left the nail salon for the second time in the same day to get that nail fixed. I don't know what it is. It's This has never happened to me before, like ever. I have never had a nail break on me when I just got them done. Or even before like three weeks of having them. So I don't know what the deal is. Um, I think it's just, I don't know. I have no idea. But um, I'm heading to the teen center now. I have a meeting and then we'll be there till nine o'clock. So I'm hoping I can stop at my apartment at some point to switch my laundry over because I put it in this morning at like 9.30 um, <laughs> and have not been back yet to switch it over. So yes. Good morning, it is Saturday morning, February 15th, 
Last night was Valentine's Day. Um, me and Dan went to this wine bar in Newtown. It was really cute. He got me this gorgeous bouquet of roses, which I'll show you in a second, but he's on a work phone call in the room. Um, I'm about to put together the basket for his brother's engagement party, which is in a couple of hours. Let me show you what it looks like. Yo, say yo, hello. Yo, what up, you two? <laughs> what did you do for Valentine's Day? Um, I got Ryan, Orchid, chocolate heart thing, mm -hmm. card. Loving. Skittles. Love. Went to the Italian restaurant. Nice. A chicken farm. Was it good? Yeah, I love <laughs> that shit down. What does she eat? Chicken farm. Oh, really? Yeah. Then we're in bed. Loving. Should I work today, so. Nice. Home, really. Nice. Hey, Jesse, how was that? Oh, really? Yeah. I got, oh my god, my hair. Shot me, shot me in your underwear, too. <laughs> <laughs> I got Dan a couple's massage nice. for next month, yeah. Nice. Would be nice. Did you like I think so, yeah. My God, my batteries are dying. Okay, this is what I got for the basket. So I got a little, this is us symbol, a little C for Cruz, because that's their last name. A cute picture frame. My camera battery is flashing at me and I'm charging the other one. Mer -mer cute picture frame, some little flowers, um, a cookbook from Joanna Gaines, Magnolia Table. There's a love candle down here like that and then these are Kate Spade Mr. and Mrs. coffee mugs so I'm gonna put this all together really quick and see how it turns out all right guys so this is what the gift basket looks like I was having a hard time because I don't want anything to break but I wanted also like you to be able to see everything so I hope this looks good I think it's pretty cute and then I'm gonna cellophane wrap it put a little ribbon and call it a day. Hi guys. Um, it's telling me my battery's dead. I don't know what's going on here. I literally had this battery charged all night, but I have another one backed up. All right, we're setting up all of the little decorations. PP. Hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Your hair looks bomb. Thank you. I just got it done. Loving. Eddie just left to go fill up the balloons with helium. I'm gonna start making these little jars. And yes, okay. Okay, so these are our decorations. We, it's only a party of 12, like a table for 12, so we don't, I don't wanna like overwhelm the table, but some decorations, some balloons, more balloons, a banner, and a big three zero balloon. And I'm gonna go home and get ready. The chaos for Daniel. Almost done, half the table up. This one? Thank you, thank you everyone. Wow. Holy shit. Oh my god. How's it going? Perfect. Thank you. It's such a secret. <laughs> what the what up, fuck? Hey, bro. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. So Dan was really surprised. There he is. Oh. Oh. Love that birthday, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, I love <laughs> All right, guys, so we're just going to say happy birthday to Dan. Happy birthday, Daniel! Happy birthday, Dan. Woo! Let's get that good. Yes! Woo! Wow, look at him. Sports oh, damn. Sports I didn't know. Yeah, you did. Don't mind me. I swear. Can you hear my feelings now? Come on. <laughs> Alright, they're doing a little chitter chatter here, a little guy, a little 
going back and forth. Oh my god. Vlogging? Woo! Love it! Oh my god. Looking sexual! Yes! Put it at Jonathan! Put it at John! Oh my god! So sexual! Whoa, what's happening? Go to the casino? Oh, wait, wait. Yeah! Okay. I love a casino. Meet you at the roulette table. Am I there? Mark, am I in the vlog? No, flip the screen up. What the fuck? Y'all, I'm in the vlog. Okay, guys. Hi, It's me and Michelle. Okay, so for everyone that hates me because of my Starbucks video, still talking about that. Just showing you Mark, who we won the gingerbread challenge because Gabriella was just in the last second. So just showing you Mark, my BFGF, best friend, girlfriend forever. And oh my gosh. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. Um, the party went well. Dan actually had to leave early this morning at like 7.30. He went to work. He had like a side job to do with his friend. So I can only imagine how he's feeling because everybody was drinking heavily last night. Um, but I figured I'd show you what my mom got me for Valentine's Day because she gets us little stuff every single year. And it's really cute. So um got me this unicorn be mine balloon <laughs> and a Christmas bag <laughs> come on focus Christmas bag um she got me a couple of chocolate covered strawberries and then this little sample bag from CVS with just some little like samples in it and um, she picked this up from Home Goods for me. It's for, by that same brand that I have those syrups from. And this is like a beauty. It says Beauty Within Vanilla Whipped Foam. So it's like the foam that you put on top of your coffee. Um, and it's infused with collagen. You can put it on coffee, on smoothies, on a protein shake, whatever you want. And I don't know. Curious to try this. But she got me stuff that like related to the coffee bar. So she picked this up and then... She got me this cute little sign, so I'm gonna put this up now. Today's just kind of a cleaning day. Um, I need to clean this apartment. It's been through some stuff this weekend. <laughs> um, so I need to deep clean this apartment and then my uncle, Chris, is coming over to do some laundry because his washing machine broke, I guess. And then what else? Oh, I have to film a video today and edit a video and get it sent off, edit this vlog, and that's it. So I'm gonna get started on cleaning. And I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. All right, guys. It's actually much later in the day. On Sunday, it's actually past midnight. But I just finished 
editing this vlog so I figured I'd come on here and end it really quickly um I just washed my hair today and so I let it air dry like 75% the inside of it is still a little wet so I'm about to put the blow dryer to it now I don't like to blow dry my extensions when they're stopping wet because it puts so much pressure on the hair and the like bond of the extension so yeah that's the deal with that but i also just realized i didn't show you the flowers that dan got me so they're absolutely beautiful it was so cute so um i also realized that i didn't really talk about valentine's day because i was like so busy with everything else but we went to this wine bar in newtown it's called Nuevo Mundo, Monday, something, I don't know, something like that. And I actually met him there because we were both running late. I had worked that day in the office at the teen center and he was working as well. Um, so he was, we were both running late so we just met at the restaurant. So I walked in, he was already sitting at the table and he had this beautiful bouquet of roses for me and a card and it was just so cute so let me show you the roses like how beautiful are those it's just so pretty it was so tall and just gorgeous i'm obsessed so beautiful and then that's the valentine's day card as well and here's a lola <laughs> Yoli. oliver's over here so yeah, that's how my Valentine's Day went. It was really, really cute and really fun. I ended up getting him a couple's massage to this nice day spa near me, which we're gonna do in March since I'm going away and we just have a busy next couple of weeks. Um, and actually, before you know it, there's only like two more weeks of February and then it's March. So yeah, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can expect that the videos will be back on schedule this week, guys. Um, I love you, I appreciate you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.